Hi friends! Hi. Welcome back to And the Adventure Continues. We are doing more Taiwan adoption stuff today and we're so excited. We're working on that home study update. Like we had the fingerprinting done for um, last weekend. Today in that home study update prep, we are headed to the doctor. Yay! Oh, yeah, it's a blood draw. So. Yeah, so for the um, original dossier for China, we had to go to the doctor and have a medical film filled out. And then because it has been six months since our original home study, we have to go to the doctor again and have all that done again. So all kinds of like TB tests and blood tests and um, all kinds, uh, an actual specific form that the doctor has to complete and sign. The form looks like this. Last time the doctor was totally cool with doing it. We had no issues at all. Uh, so hopefully this will be quick and semi-painless. I don't do well with giving blood or having blood taken. Yeah, I blood. I, I like to keep my blood inside my body, not in test tubes. So hopefully this goes well. Tape. Our blood has officially been sucked. Yep. We have to was, come was, back tomorrow for a TB test, though. Yeah, so remember this. If you're going to get a TB test, tuberculosis test, you don't get it on Thursday or Friday. Well, I guess Friday might be okay. You have to have a period of time of waiting. So don't schedule it on Thursday. Schedule like Monday, Tuesday, yeah. schedule your tuberculosis. Yeah, so we'll come tomorrow to have the TB test done, and then we'll come back on Monday and they'll read it. Okay, we're back in the car again. Doctor's appointment complete. We Almost got just a had right a person pull out in front of us randomly. Okay, that was fun. The paperwork is still at the doctor's office because they did the blood work, so they have to get the results and fill in those blanks. And we'll go for the TB test. So we'll probably pick up the paperwork on Monday when we go to have the TB test read. So to make it clear, the TB test, tuberculosis test, make sure that you go either Monday or Tuesday to the doctors. And or not, Wednesday. Or Wednesday. Well, no, it's yeah. three days, right? No, two days. Two days. So yeah. there's a two-day testing. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. That's the only time you could go to the doctor to get your tuberculosis. Or else, they can't do it. They have, you have yeah. to, Like today is Thursday. Or so Friday. You could go on Friday. Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Not the, not the one day of the week that we came. <laughs> Don't get your tuberculosis test on a Thursday because the weekend messes it up. Like, it's too much time that passes if you have a weekend. So, literally the one day that we had our doctor's appointment is the one day that you shouldn't get the TB test. But that's okay. They have a, a shot clinic tomorrow. So, we'll just go back tomorrow and have that taken care of really quick. And that's it. So, one more thing kind of checked off. I like having things like neatly checked off, but this is something that kind of spans over a few days. So that's okay. It's getting there. It's progress. Thanks for coming on this adventure today, guys. Hi friends. I totally forgot to grab my vlogging camera. Wasn't necessarily planning on vlogging this, but it is very much adoption related. Um, we are off on another adventure. <laughs> I feel like every time we vlog, we're in the car, but- Yeah, that's not good. <laughs> It's kind of one of the few times that we're actually together these days. We've been kind of running around like mad people. Um, but we are on our way to meet up with a group of other families. On Facebook, there's a group for families who are adopting from China, but that are delayed by COVID. A bunch of people from all over the country, literally. And a few months back, they started organizing a meetup for families kind of in the uh, area. So was, I think some people are coming from North Carolina and from Georgia. Um, but the thing, there's probably going to be about 10 of us and it's just going to be a time to get together and kind of um, Sorry, the transmission ugh. it's a four speed automatic and you just got to learn how to I need to buy a gimbal um, or a manual, I can a stick shift or a gimbal, a little cheaper anyways we're just going to get together kind of encourage each other's hearts hear a little bit more of each other's stories and I think it's going to be a really sweet time of fellowship and building new friendships so come along with us, let's go
fantastic lunch. We met at one o'clock and it's now 4.30. So that was a nice long lunch. <laughs> there wound up um, only being three other couples that made it. So there were eight of us total. Did Great you? people. It was really, really good. Each of those other families have already been matched with children. So like um, they're pretty much, most of them are just waiting to travel or they only have like one small step before travel. Um, so we were, we're kind of in a different boat with not being matched to a child and that's kind of why we started the Taiwan process too. No, it was a lot of fun. The food was good. Yeah, the food and, was uh, good, the company. The company was awesome. Yeah, it's always good to meet new people and hear about their stories and what they do and kind of their journey. And It's a lot of fun and it, it's nice to kind of start building this community now so that eventually when we are able to bring our children home, we kind of already have like a community set up for them to come into. and. Um, be able to share our experiences as well as when we bring them back and start parenting so it was an excellent time really really glad that we went and we're gonna plan another one so that I think like October we're gonna shoot to get together again we had the best gift waiting for us when we got home from lunch our secret encourager family sent us this beautiful photo display with the name of our YouTube channel and we're going to leave it blank for now because we are waiting with anticipation for the day that we can put our child or children's photos on it. This was such a thoughtful gift and we absolutely love it. Thanks for joining us today, friends. Until next time, and the adventure continues. Bye, Jen. Bye, Jen.